If you don't think plants have intelligence, then check this out. Here's some kind of wild cucumber cousin that came up on my porch. And uh, I've been studying it for a couple of days now. And uh, here's one example of how smart this thing is. It wrapped around this rebar, and when it did so, it came back on top of its own tendril. So that gave it a more secure grip. And that, you know, if you're tying a knot, that's called a clove hitch, or part of one anyway. So in a sense, the plant knows how to tie a knot. Now the next thing is, it knows how to make a little coil spring once it does get attached. And that gives it strength against breakage. If the wind stresses it or an animal bumps into it, it's got this cute little spring that prevents uh, breakage. And that phenomenon was studied by scientists at Harvard, and they went into great detail on how that thing forms. So that, that can be Googled. Okay, another thing about this plant. Down here, it wrapped around <coughs> another plant stem. And over here, it wrapped around another plant stem. And over here, another plant stem. However, it never wraps around its own stem. So how does it tell the difference between its stem and any other one? Is it surface texture? Is it electrical impulse? Is it chemistry? How does it do that? All right, another thing. I put this can here three days ago, and this tendril has no interest in trying to wrap around it. So, in contrast, I put this paintbrush handle here an hour ago, and there it is, wrapped around it. So how does it tell the difference in an appropriate size that it knows it can grip? before it attempts to grip it. Is that, eye, is that vision? Is that some kind of electromagnetic field? What's going on with that? Now, one other thing that happens with it is when a tendril does not find an anchor, to hook, hook up with. It just still goes into a kind of a coil and just ends up suspended in the air in a kind of a depressed way and, uh, and it just kind of gives up after about three days. And so much for plant intelligence. I think that this particular plant has a pretty big brain somewhere hidden under its roots. Or where does it get that smartness? You tell me.